cross our neck for the ones I hate Friday sick, got the drugs in my veins Pop tunes in, now she wanna get face I got plans, I don't wanna go Alright, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Spurs and in today's video we're going to be talking about a, something that happened quite recently but I'm not going to say the exact date just in case mom, dad, you're watching this. I'm sorry. But anyway, so this is the story of my first ever party. I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay in the background. But yeah, so it's my first ever real party that I went to and it was an hour and a half away and uh, yeah, so here's where it all started. Two days prior to the party, we were on Instagram and we see this big account that we have around. Around. It's called Full Send Wisconsin. It's where all the stupid shit that people do around Wisconsin is posted to that website. They posted that there's a huge field party or whatever, and I'm like, oh man, that'd be lots of fun, and all my friends wanted to go too. So me and all my friends hop in the car, come the day of the thing, and we drive a good 40 minutes to where it actually is. It was a, a few cities away. But yeah, we arrive there, and then we hear that the cops are gonna come. There's already about 10, 12 cars there. And we get there, everybody starts freaking out. We all hop in our cars and they're like, okay, we have a new spot. So we're all just saying what's up to each other. And then we all hop in our cars, have like a 15 car caravan. And they said max 25 minutes. And then it was another 40 minutes away over these sketchy ass bumpy roads and these fucking potholes just everywhere. And when I was more towards the back. So as we were driving, the, the sand was, oh, uh, sorry guys. I don't know if you can tell or not, but I'm really fucking sick. Anyway, so as I'm driving, since I'm in the back, all the sand is being kicked up like right into my windshield. I could barely see shit. No one else could really see. So we're on our way up there and we finally get there after a fucking forever. And there's already a good 30 cars at this place and it's some small cabin in the middle of nowhere since Wisconsin is mainly fields and nothing but fucking cornfields and stupid shit like that so we pull in with a good 15 cars adding on to the 40 30 that there was already there and we go inside no one that we know is there it's a bunch of old college kids all just drinking and all having shit tons of fun it was a lot of fun being there while it lasted so we're me and my buddies are having a good time and then we hear that the cops are coming so everybody is like kind of like oh shit and then we turned out to be a false alarm and then again we heard that the cops are coming a good 20 minutes later but it was a uh, false alarm again and then the boy who cr cried wolf uh, yeah, said that the cops are coming a third time and sure enough they sure fucking did So we all scrambled out There was a bunch of kids that went to the woods and a lot of them got breathalyzed and caught because cops surrounded the whole woods Considering that there were streets around the whole place. It's kind of hard to explain But it was like four acres of land So kids were running through woods and the cops were on the roads and the other side of the land if That makes any sense But a lot of kids that went to the woods came running right back out when they saw flashlights in the woods from the cops and most of these kids are underaged and all just wasted out of their mind so they're all scared shitless so me and all my friends are kind of like freaking out but I was I was sober actually I'm not I'm gonna be 100% honest I was sober so I wasn't freaking out too much knowing that I wasn't getting to get in any trouble but a lot of my friends weren't sober so I was kind of scared for them and they were really freaking out considering that that underage would look really fucking bad on their thing anyway so the cops are there everybody scrambles into the woods some people go in their car me and my friends went into our car because we didn't really want to run and I had no reason to run knowing that that would just get me into more trouble but anyway the cops block the driveway there's two of them and then two of them are super fucking dicky and then there was one nice cop that was actually somewhat reasonable and a lot of these kids were just being straight up tools to the cops so I under completely understand why these cops are being just fucking assholes there was girls hitting on cops because they wanted to get out of it but yeah so anyway about an hour goes by we're all sitting in the car just doing nothing and the cops walking around to all the cars shining flashlights in it walks up to mine shines a flashlight didn't do anything surprisingly but me being the good kid that I am the sober boy that I am I got out went up to the cop and asked if I could be breathalyzed so I can leave so it was one in the morning I I wanted to get my friends home safely. I wanted to get home safely. So I'm just kind of walking around now. Everybody's starting to get out of their cars since I got out of mine. And I guess, but I did see a lot of my friends get fucked over that night. So it's kind of a shame. So I walk up to the cop and this was the nice cop and I start a conversation with him and I kind of explained to him where I'm from and everything and why I'm here and that I didn't know that it was going to be this big. Obviously kind of bullshitting him to get myself out of it. But then I'm like, hey, I'm sober. If you breathalyze me, can I grab my car and get out of here? And he said, yes. But then that's when a bunch of cars started lining up and everything because there was more kids around me. So I went back to my car and I pulled up. We waited about 40 minutes just playing music with my friends and then just having a good time talking, not too worried about it. Then when I pulled up to the to the cop, he was 
generically nice, just asked, he shined a light in everybody's face, and then he asked me to step out of the car. So I stepped out of the car, scared shitless, I uh, breath got breathalyzed, I don't know why I was so scared about that, knowing that I was sober, but I mean, those things do go wrong sometimes. So I asked him kindly to put a new breathalyzer tube in, I blow zero, and me and all my friends are super stoked and hyped, and then we get on our way, and then we have a long ass fucking drive back home. So yeah, we had no service because we were in the middle of nowhere. I tried following a cop, but he was going too fast down the road for me. I have no idea why he was going so fast down the fucking road. And it was a dirt road. I didn't want to hit any potholes, fuck anything up. So luckily, one of the friends that I was with hunted in the area. So he knew where we were at in the state. And none of us believed him that he knew where we were at because he's kind of one of them silly bullshitters. We did listen to him and he did get us to a town. So we stopped at a gas station, kind of regrouped, realized what was actually happening, and then just started driving home. Here's the most funny part about it. So this was a huge party that everybody knew about, and a lot of people were saying not to go, knowing that it was gonna get busted, and there was things all around, cops saying not to go to Augusta because it's gonna get busted. And I'm like, ha, that's kinda funny. It's just like a scare tactic. So I said, fuck it, I'm gonna go anyway with my friends, and it was just kinda super fucking dumb of me to do. What I did learn from this is anything can really happen, and uh, I'm just super fucking lucky I didn't get in any trouble or drink that night, because that could've turned out really fucking badly. But honestly guys, we all fuck up, it happens in life, but we're lucky because we made it out safely, and we're gonna take this as a lesson not to go to parties and drink that, knowing that the cops are gonna be there. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video, I hope you guys all enjoyed and I will see you all next time.